Hi, let's see uh, how to control street lights by using infrared sensors. This application is automatic street light control by using infrared sensor. So I can simulate with produce and you need to write program with keel microvision. So this is the keel microvision. Double click on this. So you need to open go project tab and choose new project and here you can choose your own path on a drive so I'm going to choose my own folder from e drive now my project name is street light control so this is my automatic street light control just click on save tab and go with admin so this is the target device selection from this window these are all the controller manufacturers from this select admin and just click on plus mark it will show the list of devices from this manufacturer from this choose 889C51 and click on ok and this is the startup code warning you can click on no and now go file tab and open select new option this is the text editor here you need to write your program so before writing just try to save this file go file tab again and click on save button this is automatic street light control is my program name and just save this file with .c extension and here you can write your program so I just want to show with three sensors which are placed on street so once you the sensor sensed by person the light will comes to on automatically so across each sensor I'll place one load so this is my sensor one which is connected with any IVO port from microcontroller so I'm taking three sensors with three respective loads which are connected with P1.0, P1.1 and P1.2 these are three sensors sensors on street and next you have to tell which where you are connecting your light so I am taking three loads load 1 which is connected with port 2 with the help of relays and load 2 which is connected with another IVO pin load 3 which is connected with another load so this is the three relay connections you have to do with your microcontroller board so these are street light connections and here I'll start my main from here so the initial status of all these three loads which are zeros load 1, load 2 and load 3 all these sequence logics are zeros and sensors which are input configured now so the sensor which is connected with so anyway sensors logics also initially zeros
based on your logic suppose if sensor is giving logic 1 no need to deal with this so if sensor is giving logic 0 then you have to deal in another way okay anyway sensor will give 5 volts output so I am making initial logic sir zeros to test its simulation this is for only simulation and this is the optional logic based on input and then I am entering into the infinite loop this is y of 1 I need to test always which sensor is detected from street anyway person will enter from any one of the end so I can test my sensors logics if sensor 1 equals to, equals to 1 I can turn on my load 1 then what about other loads so they should be off state this is an off state means only light 1 comes to on suppose sensor 2 is detected then so this load 1 is off and load 2 is on and load 3 status is off so this is this is a sequence order if you have any confusion make a comment this is light one on then in this case what about the other two street lights this is street light 1 on and street light 3 off this is for just initial understanding and the same thing will follow for second condition this is street light 2 on the other two are off then the third condition may be what we are expecting like if sensor 3 is 0 sensor 3 is 1 then what is the response you are expecting from loads load 1 is off and load 2 is also off and load 3 is on this is straight light 3 on the other two lights is goes to off state so if no sensor is detected then the status of all loads is in off so that based on condition it will enter into that and it will execute and it will come back this is this logic this if condition we need to close here itself and second if condition will be closed in third this is the program based on sensor the load comes to active so you are looking to compile this just go target one and just click plus mark it will show source group one and right click it and choose the option add files to source group one now my program is automatic street control this is the file just add it and close once you add the file you will get plus mark with this this is the file and go project tab 
and select the option build target so this has which is showing some errors like there is a dot and I think sensor somewhere is and is missing then if you do any modification go save button and build button now my program will not have any errors and warnings you want to simulate this output just select target 1 right click and choose option options for target target 1 this is the frequency you need to set as 11.0592 and highlight this use on chip pro and click on ok tab and you need to do one more option in the same window select output tab and highlight this create hex file and then ok now build this it will give the hex file path to you which is created in your project window now minimize this and open produce simulation tool which is help us to design your complete circuit you can simulate your output of this project before proceeding to hardware now choose all the components type your microcontroller name as 8089C51 and in this I don't have sensors so I am taking buttons which also generates logic 1 or logic 0 based on your hardware connection now I am taking relays to drive electrical loads this relay is 1 and then AC source which is alternator this is AC source alternator and then you can go with the loads like a lamp this is animated light now so do the hardware connection as per your application select microcontroller and place your relays as per load connections this is a street and now I am taking three sensors across each this is sensor 1 and this is sensor 2 and this is sensor 3 so you need to arrange street like this may be your street or else you want to get a good understanding of this you can connect you can zoom it now do the hardware connections so or else if you have confusion I'll place the sensors on this this side so one end you need to connect with 1.2 so there are sensor connections with 1.0 1.1 and 1.2 the other end you are testing with logic one so you have to connect with power so power and ground you have to choose from terminals mode select power tab and just give the power connection to this buttons then connect your loads as per take one transistor interface between relay and microcontroller so PC547 is the transistor you can drive your relay through this transistor so collector you may have to connect with relay second third pin and this is connected with P2.0 and another transistor collector you have to connect with relay and emitter may be ground and base you have to connect with 
P2.1 and another transistor this is P2.2 and what about AC connections you have to take alternator as a common and take this lamps across each relay and one connection you have to do with NC, NO always NC may be directly connected with second driving pin and the other end of this loads you have to direct connection with source so one end you have to drive through relay and other end you have to do direct connection with alternator the source other end I am taking to the second pin of relay same you have to extend to all and this emitter you have to give to ground based on transistor this is NPN transistor so you need to connect ground with this this is the hardware connection so make sure this relay is 5 volts because your microcontroller cannot drive other voltage relays So this voltage you have to set to 5 volts. And this is your hardware circuit to drive traffic lights, sorry, street lights with the respected sensors. Now link your hex file, sorry, you have to do one more connection with relay. So relay first pin you have to do with power connection. So this the perfect connections of all sensors and relays. Now link hex file from your target folder which is present in E-Drive and channel e-learning room. Now my file name is automatic street light control. Select your file and set the oscillator frequency as same. Click on OK and see the initial status of all loads which are in off state so based on your input from sensor see the only particular light comes to on so there is a first light which is turned on and if you pass on through this sensor and if you reach second sensor the second light comes to on this will save power and as well as so once person reach to third one then third light comes to on so again if any first person on third light should be off so this is the scenario which runs otherwise you can name all these sensors with by using this text graphics so this is a text you can name it as this is sensor 1 this is sensor 2 and this is sensor 3 So these are all loads. This is load 1.
and load to this is load 3 so this is the way of designing your applications like you can run again and you can see the output if you reach first sensor first light comes to on first load so and then once person pass on away through the sensor so and the person reaches to second sensor near to second sensor the second light comes to on and if you release third one again the third sensor third light comes to on so again you are reaching to first first light on this is the behavior of your street lights based on input signals and you want to get this hardware project just contact us or else you can use for your mini project you can use as it is your mini project or major project and you are looking to work with us you will give complete training on complete embedded systems so this is i'll show you my address this is our place we are located in hyderabad these are our contact numbers and we are giving training on three levels so which is microcontrollers protocols including python and modules and linux system programming these are all completely based on your requirement each level is 2 months and you are giving placement guarantee and you have very good setup as a trainee this is our complete address thanks for watching